if you're offering up a free service, people are far less likely to reject you, right? But if you yeah. say, hey, I can do this for you or you can have my product and it's gonna cost you X, Y, Z, someone may say no. And what I learned very um, long ago, and, and I have a bad habit of learning the hard way. So I, I completely <laughs> confess to being someone who's made a bunch of really dumb mistakes or had all the misconceptions, but yeah. um, I used to um, be a full contact kickboxer competitively. So I fought for about yeah. 10 years and mm -hmm. I never feared it. I never feared walking into an arena, standing in front of thousands of people with a mouthpiece in and going toe to toe with someone who wanted to knock me unconscious. It just never crossed my mind to be afraid. However, yeah. when it came to business, I quite regularly shied away from asking for opportunities. And I had an epiphany, and it's a real long story short, but there was an, a magazine I wanted to write articles for. They kept writing articles about me and screwing them up royally, spelling my name wrong, making up information. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to write for them for years and I was too chicken to ask. And it was just after this one incredibly br brutal training session where it was me versus four different people. I would train, I would fight every round and they would fight every fourth round. So as you can imagine, wow. uh, it was yeah. intense and they were bigger than me and stronger than me. And I, I, I beat them all up pretty good, but good I got my Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, I left, I got my Jeep and I had this magazine on my passenger side uh, seat and I was so annoyed by it. And I thought, oh, I wish I could just write the article. And then I thought, you dummy, if, if I call the editor and say, hey, can I write an article? What's the worst that can happen? And the worst that would have been able, would have happened is that this guy would have said no. And which sounds like the scariest word in the world. <laughs> Yeah. And then I thought, hey, dummy, there's no bruising, no bleeding, no broken bones involved in the word no. You do all of this really terrifying physical stuff without flinching. Why are you afraid to pick up the phone? So lesson learned. I picked up the phone about 10 minutes later. I called. I said, hey, Bob, it's Fitz. And he greeted me warmly. He knew exactly who I was. I said, hey, I'd really like to write an article for you guys for your next issue. He goes, oh, that would be great. Uh, how much do you want for it? <laughs> I thought, oh my God, he said yes, and now he's going to give me money. And uh, and I I learned at that point. Now, mind you, um, that ugly little fear monster still creeps in on occasion. You know, I'm still making calls. I still have to do pitches and sell yeah. myself. And it feels a little stressful because I don't like to sell myself. But um, the second I recognize I'm being a chicken, I, I pick up the phone and I, I just make it happen. I'd much rather have a no, a big, loud angry no than to not ask for the opportunity yeah wow oh, so good yeah what an amazing story and thank you for sharing <laughs> that, that is just such a great analogy too on how we're not afraid to put ourselves in you know physical harm but internal harm we're so afraid of right we're so yeah. afraid of that rejection it's so difficult 